Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff. And it's done for nails. <laughs> I've been experimenting with the whole left to right ombre and then the bottom bit right to left ombre trying some other bits and bobs so that's what we're going to do today we'll just watch my hands do goodness knows what until then <laughs> so we're going to start with oh I'm doing a kind of is it Halloween-y? I don't know. I just, it was a bit grey and grisly the other day. So now that summer's kind of over, I'm like, let's just skip to Halloween and Christmas. I don't need leaves and sh Just, Just go to spooky stuff. I will try and get in some autumnal, autumn-y, autumn-y, autumnal nails. Um, but I was just in the mood to do something a bit not autumn -y. So we're starting with the black is perfect black from Madame Glam and the purple is from a brand that doesn't exist anymore. But on the purple one we're going to do a black cuff at the top. Normally on a, on a human I would use a detail brush to do this but there's no human in getting in the way being a pain. <laughs> so I just started with the bottle brush and then I'm using a detail brush just to neaten that shape. I want to make this quite thick because we're going to put stuffs in it. We're going to put moon phases inside it so make sure you leave enough room for a, some big dots and then neatening up around the sides and then we will give that a cure. I'm only going to do one coat of that because hello the coverage of Perfect Black. Oh, I love it so much. So now we're taking Perfect White from Madame Glam. And we're using a dotting tool, but I'm trying. I'm making the dots bigger than the head of the dotting tool, which I suck at. Trying to get perfect circles is just not my forte, <laughs> but they'll do. They'll do. I'm getting a bit smaller as we go down the sides because there's less room. So we'll do those in white and then full cure don't forget you can use code missjo30 for a whopping 30% off at madame glam on all your orders and there are a bunch of other discount codes in the description to all my videos for um, madame glam born pretty mccart melody susie there's a jewelry uh, julia jewelry teddy blake handbags um there's just just there's a bunch of things so we've taken black perfect black again and done some dots inside the white dots a smaller dot and then to the one on the left and then a bigger dot to the one even further to the left so that we get um moon phases just to block out some of the white and then a bit more of the white and now i'm miles behind i've mixed some of the black and white together and just with a uh, small brush just kind of squiggled it around in the white bits I'll do it again on this one um, so it's not there's no precision or anything we're not going to we're not trying to map out the exact dark spots of the moon <laughs> but we are just adding moony texture to the white dots so I've done some more ignore the fact that the middle of this nail is buffed Everybody makes mistakes. That's why they put rubbers on the end of pencils. So we've done some more dots and this is what I mean with the I've cured them and now with the black just doing a bigger bit of black on this one here, but the one above did a the dot was further to the left. So it had more white remaining. And then I'm just going to pull out and kind of scribble away <laughs> the excess of that black so that it didn't look um bumpy when we top it but once we top it this will all kind of merge into itself you won't see all the um fuckity bits <laughs> and now we're doing the same again with the gray just squiggling some on the white bits 
that's really all it is making it look a bit patchy and yes when we top that it will you won't see all the the messy bits and now this is going really quickly sorry am i talking too fast um now we're going to do another something with this um optical illusion ombre trend that's all over the place so we're using black and this purple and putting the black not as close to the center as centered <laughs> and then doing a bit more of the purple um, as in going over the center a bit because the black's really going to swallow that up especially perfect black because it's a beast and I'm using the Madame Glam application brush just to blend those together if you want to see a video just on this technique I'll put a link in the description and maybe I'll pin it at the top of the comments as well. We did um, a video the other day for that. So I've done one coat of that and now we're doing the second. You see how the purple is a bit further over than like a bit past centre and the black is a bit not up to the centre. Really doing fantastic with the descriptions today. And then again blending using the... Madame Glam ma, 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 application brush and I'm just going to work on that blend because blending black into anything is tricky because you will you know you'll see streaks it's black so I'm just dipping half my brush into the black half into the purple and then just working on that blend and then that's fine that will do and now we've got to try and cover black with purple so the brand that doesn't exist oh shit my battery's low hang on a second i'll be right back i'm back i'm batman the brand i that doesn't exist the purple isn't as creamy and opaque as the madame glam so it's not going to cover this black in one coat so i'm going to have to do two coats of this which we didn't do in the video for this technique because that was all Madame Glam colours and they cover each other perfectly because they're so opaque. So I'll be doing this twice, which is a bit of a pain, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. So I'm wiping away. I want to do a circle. So I've blended them together, just a few strokes, maybe I think it was like three or four strokes of this brush to blend them together. And then I'm making sure my brush is, I'm wetting a lint free wipe with isopropyl alcohol and then really wiping my brush on it so it's kind of it's damp but it's not leaking leaking it's not dripping wet with um isopropyl alcohol and i'm going to try and wipe away a i've got a text message who is it oh it's my little broski i'm back again <laughs> broskies before nail skis so i'm trying to wipe away a circle and every time i wipe some away I will wipe my brush on the wet lint free wipe just like this and then carry on wiping some more and then make sure obviously that you get it off this first ombre so that you don't have streaks on that so we'll make this circle I think I ended up going a bit smaller trying to perfect the shape so maybe start with a big circle and then you can, as you start to kind of perfect it, you can get smaller and smaller. If you start taking a big chunk off and then try and perfect it, you're just going to have a dot <laughs> in the end. And then I'm using, before curing, a detail brush just to crispen, crispen the um, sides, not sides, circles don't have sides, the around the circle, the lines. And then we're doing the second coat of this just because that purple wasn't, covering the black enough so I'm going to do a few strokes with the um, application brush again and then we will start wiping again and this was where I knew it would be kind of it wasn't that it wasn't tricky but just have to kind of think where the other where the first coat of this circle starts and ends so taking off bit by bit it's easier to take more off than undo taking off too much so just going to go around that and then cure and then oh yeah I wasn't happy with the blend in the middle of these it's that black's a bit streaky isn't it so I'm just going to work on that 
with the same technique as we did before, dipping half the brush in some purple and half in some black. And then when I turn the brush over here, you have to work bottom to top because the colors are now on the opposite sides, just where you've, where you've put pressure on the brush and it pushes the product to the other side of the brush. So when you turn it over, just remember that the colors are now the other way around on the brush and then just neatening up where we've, that was easier. That's what I should have done actually, instead of maybe a second coat, just worked on the blend because then you only have to fix up sort of the middle, top middle and top bottom of the circle and you can see where you're going better. So maybe, oh no, because I wanted the purple on the left to cover the black, didn't I? Yeah, second coat was needed, I think. So again, we're just going to neaten up the outside of our circle and cure. And that is what we have um i don't know what i'm talking about there but we will be doing more with it just not sure what yet so we'll get um other things done first oh this one this probably wasn't the best idea just because i think the shape that i want to cut out doesn't kind of loan itself <laughs> to the center of a nail the the where the blend is but i'm doing the same again Mix, uh, blending the purple and the black on top of um, the first ombre and then I'm going to cut out um, a circle on this side and then we'll take the center which we're making a crescent moon but yeah I don't think the shape of it um, worked too well with this ombre you know this double ombre because when I wipe away here the, this bit here, so the center of the whole of the cutout of the crescent moon, kind of, oh, it's blurry as fuck anyway, kind of, you've got a tiny bit of the black from the second ombre and the beginning of the black from the first ombre, so it wasn't fantastic. And I wanted it to be smaller, but then you would sort of, you need to have it big enough to see the ombre, the first ombre and the second ombre. I think it's okay, but it's not, it's not the best. Why is it blurry? Will you stop? So I'll work on that. I did spend a bit of time faffing with this. So I think I've sped it up a little bit. Can't remember if I have or not, just to show that it wasn't just a quick, you know, swipey swipe. There we go. Job done. I did faff around with it for a while, but that's me. Maybe you don't faff as much as me, but I like to faff like a fucking champion. So, oh yes, here we go. We've sped up. Trying to get the shape, but trying to keep both the ombres. If I'd have made it smaller, we would lose everything or we would lose the ombre from the crescent moon. If I, The more I took off, I was losing more and more of the effect. So just kind of kept going until I thought that will do. And then the second coat I'm doing here, because again, the purple needed a second coat. So we'll do that um, sped up as well, just because it was more faffing. But again, just wiping away. So you can do, stop talking so much. So you can do um, any pattern you want with these, but some will suit it more because ideally, Whatever pattern you're doing, you will have the center of the blend on the second ombre visible a lot. Whereas that kind of cuts off a lot of the ombre, the middle of the moon, we've kind of got rid of. So I'm now taking Madame Glam's white gel paint and we're going to do a little potion bottle. I tried this, I tried to get it symmetrical about 30 times and then just got annoyed with myself so it's not symmetrical but I'm just going to pretend that whoever made this bottle wasn't a very good glass blower and it's a bit wonky it's a very old bottle so yeah that's why it's not symmetrical <laughs> nothing to do with me and then we're adding a little spouty spout and then we will do a straight line across the top and then bring it out from each side of the spout. Is it a quarter? Neck, 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 bottleneck. There we go. And then just square that off 
and then I'm going to cure it because this was attempt number I don't know how many and I thought before I do the next step let's just cure that that will do possibly could have um, used black to thin out some of the white line on the left just below the neck and then it might have matched the other side I, yeah that was just too much effort I was annoyed at this point so we're going to do a little triangle and then add a dot on top and that's just going to be a little bottle stopper cork whatever and then we'll add a little reflection line there and a line there I've seen lots of pictures online of um, little potion bottles on nails, so there's no one person to credit for the idea of this. Um, and I'm, I've wiped it, and then I'm giving it a very, very light buff. See, I'm, I'm not holding the buffer firmly. Um, just because I'm going to add glitter now, so I want it only to stick to the purple that we're doing now so everything else has been wiped and buffed so there's no risk of glitter sticking to anything else so I'm going to do the purple I'm going to leave a border around it I'm not doing it right up to the white outline leave a little border and kind of have it going up the sides a bit like it's kind of splashing or moving or just yeah and then we're going to cure that a half cure so that brand cured for um, a minute so I think I actually only did 20 seconds cure and then I'm going to pour some of this purple glitter on it and then tap it off and then we're going to press and burnish because it's a fine glitter we can press it in and then just very lightly rub in circles so now the glitter here is only one glitter one grain deep there's no glitter on glitter. It's just where you've burnished it, it sticks to the tacky layer and then anything that isn't stuck to that tacky layer will crumble off. So it's very flat, which is good because we can just go straight over and top that. But we'll go back to that nail again in a minute. Now we're going to add all our stars and dots. And I got very carried away with dots as I always do. So we're doing a dot and then we're pulling up down left and right out of the dot so I'm not adding more to my brush I actually wipe my brush a little bit just on, on my glass palette and then use the product from that dot to pull up down left and right and let it wisp off nice and thin and then we'll add more dots than I really need to add because hi my name's Joe. I'm addicted to dots <laughs> And then I think I do change this because I ended up having four in a row on the left side. So I turned one maybe into um, another star, I think. Is everyone else just ready for Halloween nails? Halloween nails, then Christmas nails. And then if we could just skip straight to summer, that would be fantastic. The only thing that gets me through autumn and winter is Halloween and Christmas nails. That's it. And Christmas itself. But other than that, I'm happy just to skip all over that, that time of year. Pero, pero. <laughs> oh my goodness, the funniest thing happened the other day. I'm just doing stars and dots. I was doing my um, daily Spanish lesson on Duolingo. And the doorbell rang. Wait, let me preface this by saying that I try to speak Spanish as much as I can. As in... If I know how to say something in Spanish, I'll try and say it in Spanish and I'll like talk to myself in Spanish. It's not an in-depth conversation. I don't know that much. But anyway, so the doorbell went <laughs> and it's a courier that have been here, that's been here like umpteen times, knows full well that I am English, doesn't know that even though I'm physically in my house, my head is 100% in Spain whilst doing my lesson so as I I opened the door and went buenos dias and then I was expecting two parcels but could only see one so I went oh donde esta mi oh esta aquí as I saw it and then went muchas gracias and then as he started walking away I just bring it on home by shouting disfruta el fin de semana and he turned around and looked at me like I was going through some kind of personality crisis and just went um, okay, 
<laughs> it's only when I shut the door that I thought, oh, what a massive knob you just looked with the seven words you know. <laughs> anyway. Right, we're now topping um, this, all of them, with Madame Glam's No Wipe top. Oh, no, this isn't the No Wipe. This is the... Ta- oh, was, God, that was so embarrassing. Hola! <laughs> um, with their tacky top coat and now we're going to hopefully get rid of all the there we go all the mess that looked like was on that nail has disappeared um what was saying yes this is the tacky top because i have a tacky top this is it um and i like to use the no white one for clients so sometimes i use the tacky top for videos but even when you wipe it it's still you know some tacky top coats when you wipe the um tacky layer after curing it's not quite as shiny as a no wipe top this one is it's it's great um the glitter because it was so thin um because we'd burnished it oh god what a knob um it only needs this top coat because this top coat's nice and thick and creamy anyway so um that covers the burnished glitter without it being bumpy or grainy at all and then, is that the last one we're topping? Yes! And this is the final set! I hope you like them. Is it okay that we're doing this kind of thing at the beginning of set? It's fine. It's fine. This is, I have to resist doing these sorts of nails all year round. Mid-June, dark spooky nails. Um, so this is all of them. The glitter, love it. I should have put glitter somewhere else on it, but there we go. I'm glad we did the little grey bits in the moon as well. Makes it a bit more moony <laughs> let me know in the comments which one is your favorite you can follow miss joe's on instagram at miss joe's nail co i appreciate you being here so so much and i will see you in the next one bye, bye.